Have you ever tried to make an exercise on the congas easy, but then use that same exercise to make it difficult and challenging as you improve? Yeah, it's gonna be one of those videos today. Welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you haven't already, please hit that like, subscribe, and notification button just so you can find out whenever I upload. And to all my day ones, thank you so much for all the comments, all the continued support, man. It's 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 a beautiful thing that uh, you know this community is just keeps on growing, man. It's just just it's just an awesome thing. And also, if you want this again, disclaimer is this: if you want. If you want to support the channel directly to me, um, in the comment down below, if you, there's a part with a little heart that says, thanks. If you want, you can actually help support the channel with a comment and, and literally support me directly that way. Again, it's not an obligation, but it will definitely help me continue to make these videos and just have better resources as well to make it more accessible for you guys and also future plans to help again, to support the community. But again, it's not an obligation, but there's an option because I get messages like, how can I support you? And yeah, that's, that's one of them. But today I want to show you guys a very simple exercise just using a, you say palm tip or heel tip or base tip movement using opens and then taking that, of course, improving at it, then kind of switching it up and then switching it back and forth. Yeah, let me show you just the one version of it and then we're going to kind of break everything down and move on from there. got to love it man i love exercises like that but yeah let me show you what i'm doing now i know for a lot of you like eric that was so easy right you try it i want to see you guys try it if it is that easy and be able to progress in speed and still be able to kind of tell apart with the little heel tip movement not sliding around and still making those opens nice and crispy again that's kind of the part where it's it's, it's it is an easy thing to do but once you start progressing that's when you start to see the little tongue twister kind of reveal itself in your plank so i start this exercise with a base finger or a palm finger however you would want to display it. i personally like using a base so so help me kind of establish that kind of movement and i do two of those so it's gonna sound like this man i, I that's like my favorite movement on the gonga man love it love it then after that what follows is five opens and it's gonna be starting off with your dominant hand, then non-dominant, dominant, non-dominant, non -dominant, ending with your dominant hand. Again, that's five opens. And then what follows is a ghost note, but in actuality, it's it's the tip part of the heel tip. You're just gonna kind of use your fingers to help you get back to doing the bass movement, which we did in the beginning. But, but that part's very important. That's where you can see people really struggle or kind of mess up in the flow of things. But we're trying to keep it kind of like one whole flow. So let's play the whole thing together, ending on the bass, which would be the first bass that we would do.
yeah, that's basically it. Yes, uh, it's again, simple, simple. But with these exercises, the point is to play them all the way through without stopping. So let's just find a moderate speed and just keep on playing that speed. Again, you gotta love exercises like that because once you start speeding that up, it becomes its own little thing, but you're, you're, you're still doing the same movement. How do we take this one exercise and it's already difficult once you start speeding it up but how do we again challenge ourselves with this one exercise switch it up so everything that you would normally do with your dominant hand now you're gonna do it with your non-dominant and likewise so meaning we're gonna start doing the base finger movement and then leading off the opens with our non-dominant hand and then again that tip part to kind of go back to doing the bass from the beginning you do it with your dominant hand so switching it up you gotta love it yeah it's gonna sound like this And you may be wondering, Eric, why do I need to practice something like that? I would never play like that in any real life situation. I would almost never use my opposite hand to do a base finger or palm finger movement or heel tip movement. I would never do that. And you're right. You're absolutely right. But you want to be able to work on your weaknesses. So you, when it's time to play both hands have the same amount of strength when approaching the instrument. And yet at the same time, you're training your mind, again, to lead off with a hand that you would normally not lead with. So again, although this exercise is easy, it can become difficult and challenging. But let's make it even more challenging. Yeah, I just went there. And let's put those two together. Now, this is, I would say, a tongue twister. but. I, I love this exercise in such a way that you could put these two together to make it its own exercise. So let me show you and see if you can actually point out where I actually switched it up. Let's see. Did you catch it? Yeah, it, it, it's fun. It is really fun. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm crazy, but you gotta love this kind of stuff. So I would normally start this pattern normally like this. And what would normally follow up to this point would be that tip, which will then bring us back to the base finger movement or base tip movement or heel toe, whichever name you want to give it. Normally, it would be that way. But in this position, because we're switching to the other side, I'm going to do the tip portion here to then bring me back to doing the base. So it would look like this.
And the same thing here. Normally, when you're using more on your non-dominant side, what would follow would be the, the, the right hand or the dominant hand to do the bass finger. But here, because I landed with that open with my non-dominant hand, we're gonna do the little finger or tip and then go back to the bass. So to play it slowly so you can see that, it's gonna look like this. Yeah, you gotta love exercises like that, but practice it, make it challenging for you, especially that last one, kind of switching back and forth. You gotta love exercises like that that are really gonna help you, again, develop on just one drum. A lot of y'all been asking for just one drum exercises. There you go. This can literally make you work for a couple weeks, y'all. A couple weeks. You gotta love it. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Take your time, please practice this slowly. Take your time maturing those tones and you'll eventually be able to do this as a second nature and you're gonna be like, I gotta love it. I gotta love this kind of stuff, man. But all right, y'all, thank you guys for taking some time to watch this video. Y'all already know what to do, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.